Hello again, this is Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me. I know that when I have watched and found new people on YouTube, I am so curious about how they got there, what their background is, and what them, made them start a YouTube channel. So I'm just going to very quickly give you a little bit about my background. I grew up in a very small industrial town in Ohio. That's not where I was born, but that's where I spent most of my childhood. And when I was in college, I had the opportunity to audition for a children's television show. It's called Romper Room. Bert Claster was the syndicator and he was out of Baltimore. Well, I went to the audition and I won the audition and that started me at a very young age on a career path in television. I had always wanted to be an actress, so at the time that was the closest thing to my dream that ever could be. Well, I did Romper Room for quite a few years. I got married and I had children, and it was a wonderful job to have while I was raising my children because if any of my little doobies got sick, then I could ask one of my or bring one of my little children with me to, to substitute and be one of my little doobies on the show. After a while, I had done that show for so long, and it got to be a little bit routine because Bert Claster and the Claster Corporation would always send scripts to me that I had to follow exactly, and I kind of wanted to improv a little bit and do have a feeling that I wanted to kind of do something different once in a while. So I had an offer from a CBS affiliate in the Pittsburgh area to be an anchor woman. And I took the job and eventually that job led to my own talk show in the afternoon, sort of like a Today Show, but it was at, in the, at noon in the afternoon. And through that experience and through that show that I did for many years, I was fortunate enough to be able to interview so many wonderful people that are at the pinnacle of their careers. Politician, authors, actors, all types of interesting people that came through our area, either running for national office or selling a book or perhaps promoting their film or their new album, I got to interview. So I was very fortunate in my life to meet so many wonderful people. And I found out the common thread that we all have is that we're all human. We all, most of us started from very humble beginnings. And yet some of our skills have allowed people to rise above and get to the pinnacle of their own careers in life. But they are just like us. They put one leg in at a time when they're pulling on their pair of jeans. During those wonderful years that I had my talk show, that I started getting letters and phone calls from a man that seemed like he was deranged, and he began to stalk me. I was terrified. Every personal appearance I went to, my husband joined me. Sometimes the director or the producer of my show would come with me just to be sure that I arrived safely and I was safe while I was there and that I was safe on my way home. Well, to make a long story short, and I've written a book about this life that I had called Behind the Magic Mirror, it wound up that my husband was diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic. In the end, it turned out that my stalker was the one and only person that I trusted and I loved in my whole life, my husband. He was eventually murdered and I was left to raise my three children alone. I couldn't think of how I could keep my career because the children had lost their father. We'd been through traumatic times because of his illness. And now I had a job that took me away from home many hours every day so I made the decision that I would give up the career that I loved, that I'd worked so hard toward, so that I could be a mother to my children. And talking about valleys and challenges, it took me a whole year to find another job because I had been an anchor woman 
And whenever I would go on an interview, people couldn't understand how this woman who had been on television for her whole life all of a sudden wanted a regular job in the private sector. But when I finally did get a job, I was fortunate enough to be able to get hired in the marketing department of a big national company. I started out at a very low level and within a year I became vice president of that marketing company. And it's through my job at that company that I was able to introduce my friend who was just divorced to a man that I had never met but he was associated with my company and trying to get my company to come into one of his trade shows. She went to interview with him and she got a job. So I basically saved her emotional life, her financial life, by suggestion that she call this man that I had never met. I went into New York one day to congratulate her and to take her out to lunch and she introduced me to the CEO of the company, her boss. And it just winds up that eventually he became my husband. So I do believe in karma. I do believe in if you do good things from the bottom of your heart for other people, it always comes back to you. And this is what happens. This is the next chapter in my life. I finally felt that I was free to live my childhood dream. I had always wanted to be an actress, but my life kind of went the other way. So at 50 years old, I opened a new chapter in my life, sent my photos around, went to casting directors, begged and pleaded and called and pursued until I finally got that first job. And eventually, within a year, I was working in major films for people like Woody Allen, Martin Scorsese, uh, Penny Marshall, all of the, the best directors in the United States. The most important thing in my life and the most important accomplishment I've ever had in my life is th raising my three children and loving my grandchildren. My oldest daughter is a flight attendant and she has just started her new YouTube channel and I'm going to put her link below. My middle daughter is a thoroughbred owner. She has a beautiful farm in Lexington, Kentucky. And, and my youngest son is the Grammy nominated, platinum awarded, ASCAP awarded, lead singer, songwriter for a band called Tonic. He also has a solo career. So in the end, I have discovered that I really love to write. I started a blog in 2012, and now here I am on this wonderful, mature woman YouTube adventure. So that is who I am, kind of, in a capsule. I hope I haven't bored you with all of the details of my life, but I'm just like everybody else. You know, we're all getting older and we all want to make the best of the years that we have. I'm 78 right now. I'm two years away from 80. And I have never, ever let my age or anyone define me by my age. And you needn't either. We're all wonderful, productive women and we still can open new chapters and we have wonderful opportunities still ahead of us in life. Thank you so much for coming. That is who I am in a capsule. If you would like to subscribe, please push the little button below and don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever I have another video coming up. Thank you and have a great day. I love each and every one of you for coming and sharing my life over 60 way over 60.